हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज रिव्यू अबाउट यू नो शास्त्रा डीम टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी राइट वन ऑफ द टॉप नॉच ऑप्शन इन साउथ इंडिया एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट शास्त्रा इट्स फुल फॉर्म इश शनमुगा आर्ट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रिसर्च अकेडमी एंड इट्स अ कॉलेज इन तंजावू डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन तमिलनाडु सो दिस कॉलेज स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन एटी फोर सो इट्स क्वाइट ओल्ड एंड इस्टेब्लिश ऑप्शन Talking about its NAC accreditation, it is A plus plus accredited, which is the highest standard in India. And if you talk about the overall NIRF ranking, it was ranked fifteenth best college for law, twenty fourth best college for engineering, and forty fourth overall. And it's a UGC recognized so as a deemed to be university under Section three, and it's accredited with ABET. Apart from that, it is also an ISO nine thousand one two thousand fifteen certified quality management system. institute you know which reflects its quality standards so as i mentioned this college is in tanjavur tamil nadu and this is the complete college college address with contact details and talking about the campus it's a quite big 232 acres ca- uh, campus with modern infrastructure so here is a short campus tour you know talking about the infrastructure uh, you know uh, facilities which are available including library the computer systems and uh, Overall facilities, right? So it all looks quite uh, eloquent, and, and since large number of departments are there, there are different infrastructure blocks uh, available with computational facilities for all the uh, branches, right? So some of those glimpses you can see here, and uh, these are some of the buildings, you know, with conference rooms, well established, you know, audio visual systems, so for delivering different lectures and. The webinars and whole of other activities and they do have provide for hostel facilities within the campus itself so some of these blocks are also the hostel blocks available uh, within sastra university so you can understand from the aerial view it's also quite green and uh, a peaceful environment for studies and they provide for different sports ground as you can see and talking in terms of innovation so all the modern laboratories in association with uh, top notch it and the uh, in manufacturing and the other domain companies right so provides uh, good education for not only the it or the computer related stream but also other you know core branches like mechanical uh, electrical civil and the other courses which i am going to cover so you can see all infrastructure exposure and um, along with that the technical exposure is quite good and that's a provide for great learning environment so if you are looking for academically oriented institute this is a, a, a right option and uh, it provides for lots of research and innovation in collaboration with different companies so uh, you can see here those are all robotics automation for mechanical mechatronics uh, uh, and the other branch students right so all infrastructure those are available and also provide for decent amount of uh, cultural you know and the uh, events right across year right so they have this exposure and functions going on not of talking about the popular program so one uh, important is the btech uh, and different specialization courses so i'll talk about individual courses in engineering later part of the video law integrated law programs b uh, in blb bcom llb and so on management courses bba mba science courses msc bsc phd and all other options i am going to cover along with the fee structure as well as the placement overview so first let's understand the admission process for the engineering programs so they have they take admission through two streams so stream 1 is based on j main score plus the performance uh, in the 12th board examination so 70% of the seats are filled this stream second way is only through class 12 board exam so in that case j main scores are not added so 30% of seats are filled through this so specifically for stream 1 where j mains plus 12th marks are added j mains weightage is 25% 12th marks weightage is 75% so you can get admission through stream 1 or stream 2 depending on how you score in two different exams now i'll talk about the fee structure and these fee structure are per semester fees these are not yearly fees so for btech courses and mtech integrated courses per semester fees is 85000 rupees per semester and 5% their increase will be there in this fees apart from that you are also expected to pay one time development fees of 10000 rupees one time during every admission e- year right and other fees will be like 7000 including all the facilities 
like personal development sports medical test id card and all it is taken only one time during start of the session 7000 not talking about the standalone mtech which is a two year program per semester fees will be 70000 Thousand rupees, so every year one and a half lakh rupees close out of which monthly stipend of 10,400 will be provided to all the students who are gate qualified. An additional fees is 10,000 rupees taken at start of the year. Now, for other courses, MBA 70,000 rupees per semester fees and 10,000 is taken additional one time and 6,000 additional one time. MCA is 50,000 rupees per semester, these are all per semester fees and 10,000 and 6,000 extra. BCom fees is also 45,000 rupees per semester and similarly BALLB honors course are also 70,000 rupees per semester with 5% increase. Similarly, the BBA LLB or uh, BBA LLB, BCom LLB, all those courses also 70,000 rupees per semester and 5% increase every year from second year, right? So, and 10,000 rupees extra one time and 6,000 rupees extra one time. Now, BSc, BA, 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 all those courses also similar 25,000 rupees fees, BCom 30,000 rupees per, per semester and 6,000 additional. And this course is offered in the Kumbakonam campus. Similarly, MSc integrated 20,000 rupees per semester, BSc, BBA, BCA, MFA all 20,000 rupees per semester. Talking about the MS, MCom, MSc, MA Sanskrit 20,000 rupees. Uh, per semester to MA Sanskrit in other campus 25,000 plus there will be additional 4,750 one-time charges. Talking about the MBA in Chennai campus it is 70,000 rupees per semester, MSc in Chennai campus 30,000 rupees per semester and BCom in Chennai campus 40,000 rupees per semester and there will be additional 16,000 that is 10 plus 6 every year. Now talking about the engineering courses uh, uh, like computer science and business system and there are a lot of computer science related specialization courses also offered apart from standard CSC. So you can study CSC with AI and DS, uh, CSC with cyber security and blockchain technology, IoT and automation, CSC with networks. You can study aerospace engineering, bioengineering, bioinformatics, biotechnology, chemical engineering, civil engineering. You can also go for electrical and electronics engineering specialization courses like smart grid, electric vehicles and EC uh, specialization courses like cyber physical systems, then electronics and instrumentation engineering. You can also go to the modern generation courses like robotics and artificial intelligence, electronics engineering with specialization VLSI design and technology, uh, and information and communication technology and information technology IT. They do have mechanical engineering with specialization in digital manufacturing and you can also study mechatronics engineering. Not talking about the placements, they have demonstrated strong placement records and as good as 1548 students were placed on the campus. And this is talking about the BTEC uh, placements, right? Now talking about the highest salary, 33 lakhs was the highest salary as per the details available and the median package is in the range of 7.5 to 7.6 lakh rupees for the BTEC graduates. So BTEC in the range of 7.5 to 7.6 lakhs, MTEC median salary is 5.5 lakhs and BALLB, BCOM, BBLLB etc. all those courses median salary around 4.6 lakhs. Now the type of companies which are visiting tech giants like Amazon, Microsoft, Cisco, Oracle and then good number of consulting firms are also coming like McKenzie and uh, Delight, EY, PWC all four. Manufacturing and core companies like Ashoka, Leland, LNT, Bosch. And then financial services companies also like Standard Chartered Bank, Axis Bank, HTF Singh Bank and many more are there on the campus. Talking about the internship opportunities, approximately 70% of students are securing internship in good companies like Accenture, Cognizant and many others. Now talking about the packages which come mass recruiting companies are there like Accenture, they offer 6.5 lakhs and good number of students as associate software engineer. Ashok Leland is also mass recruiter with 7.5 lakhs package and position offered is graduate engineer trainee, Caterpillar associate engineer mechanical with the package of 12.26 lakhs. Some other good companies with good packages, Flipkart in the package of 10 lakhs plus and software development engineer position, Fortinet graduate engineer trainee 10 lakhs plus package, Genpack, uh, AI, data and AI role like CTC 10 lakhs then Schneider Electrics which offers package of 10 12 lakhs and above 
and swam the associate software engineer profiles in the package of 20 lakhs and above so there are a good number of opportunities available and ex excellent academics and the learning so that's all i have to cover in this particular video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in india take care and bye